I think the, the, the first and most important answer would be that we remember the gospel, that we return to the gospel and that we keep the gospel central, that we remember, uh, as Paul told the Philippians, to have this mind in yourself, that, which was also in Christ Jesus. And then he goes on to describe who, although he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself. So, I mean, stunning words there that, that although Christ existed in, in the form of God, he didn't regard equality something to be grasped, but he emptied himself. And, and that kind of self-emptying, that sense of, of, of sacrifice is something we see very clearly in the gospel. It's one of the reasons why Paul is holding the gospel up for the Philippians because they're having these, these tensions, these problems, these rivalries. And so Paul is, is holding Christ's example up in the gospel to call them to consider others as more significant than yourself. So I, I think part of the answer to, to the, the problems of self-seeking lie, all of the answers lie in the gospel. The gospel reminds us that we, we have all of the approval that we need. So, so many times that people, so many times that I'm just committed to my own glory, it's because I've lost sight of the reality that in the gospel I'm reminded that I've got God's approval, that because Christ died for my sin, because Christ lived the perfect life, because he lived in perfect conformity to God's law in all things at all times, and that perfect conformity represents the righteousness that is transferred to me, it's imputed to me at the cross, that elicits the approval of God. So when he sees me, he no longer sees me in my lies or in my lusts or, or with the sinfulness that I have, but he sees the perfect righteousness of Christ dripping off of me and and, and he moves to bless that, he approves that, he accepts that. And, and, and that's the experience of a Christian. And so what that means is we no longer need to live pursuing other people for approval, managing and manipulating relationships so that we ultimately get the acceptance that we hunger for from others. The gospel reminds us that we have all the approval we need. And because of that, we can now seek the glory of God in relationships. We can now live from approval rather than pursuing approval from other people.